Yeah. It was nice. It was all right. Got a leaf in here. Uh, straight knees up, bro. Oh, yeah. Take a seat. Hang on. Let me just slide on in there. Yeah. And then you get stuck. And you gotta push up and get out. All right. All right. <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel we're back at Coda for the uh, Porsche Club America snow fest um, it's gonna be a cold and wet one I think the high today is 40 degrees it's probably 30 something right now and there's a really good chance of rain so it'll make for a fun slippery day uh, we'll see how the day goes but uh, we just did the car uh, registration and safety and uh, we're about to go pump gas and I have the hood is open All right. So I didn't close the hood properly just now. Uh, they inspect the hood, make sure everything is empty. Um, you know, the whole safety inspection, make sure your car is ready to go and, uh, and safe to be on the road. So we are uh, about to pump gas. I gotta go change my road tires for, uh, for weather appropriate tires. And uh, we'll go from there, see how the day goes. But uh, expecting a fun, slippery day. Yeah, so uh, we had the wrong size tires, or I would call this uh, the wrong size tires, but the car doesn't recognize them. Uh, the fronts are a little thicker than the normal tires I'm used to running, and then the rears are thinner. So the car just thinks the car thing is just slide and spin the whole time, even though we actually have pretty good traction on those cars. I've been on those tires, but the computer just doesn't think we do. Uh, so going up on the track, it was actually derating the car where I couldn't go faster than 20 miles an hour for like half a lap. And then when it finally let me go, all the emergency lights came on, said ABS was off, said, you know, talk to the dealership, uh, check engine light came on, the anti-sleep light was on, like everything was on, it was uh, letting me drive. So we continued to drive and it drove pretty well, you know, it, the, the steering and the uh, grip felt pretty good. Uh, but coming around on the long straight in the back, I was doing like 120, 125 miles an hour. And the minute that I, uh, the minute that I tapped the brakes, I think that the brakes locked up at different rates, or one did versus the other, or the fronts locked up, not the rears. Something happened, but the car aggressively turned right, and I ended up doing, I don't know, some four or five donuts on the grass. So the car's got all kinds of grass on it. Fortunately, I managed to keep it off the wall. I could see the wall behind me and next to me the whole time, but I was able to, I, I managed to maneuver away from the wall. The drifting class probably came in handy, maybe, I don't know. But I basically hydroplaned or spawned on the grass uh, a good five times at 100 miles an hour before I came to a stop. So it was uh, obviously an adventure, a little bit scary, but same time, you know, just kept calm. And in the moment, you just gotta try to do the best thing you can to control the car and not panic. So at least I did that and uh, avoided, you know, any any impact with the wall or with anybody, but the car is not all dirty and muddy. and. We, we've already swept out the tires to the road tires just to make sure the car is okay and drivable and that it doesn't have any issues. But it's got mud everywhere. I mean, I got grass, mud everywhere, every crevice. Like, I'll be interested to see actually when I go drive out there uh, later. But I'd slipped before, I'd spun once, and this time I spun several times. So it's a, it's part of the sport. It is what it is. You know, it's you can be as safe as you want and just be careful and uh, stay in control and don't panic and. Hope for the best kind of thing, so 
It's part of the sport, it's expected. Fortunately, the car is okay, you know, most importantly, I'm okay. But later, if it dries up in my normal uh, trophy hours, um, and if it doesn't dry out, then I'll just drive tomorrow in my slicks, and tomorrow's supposed to be a perfect day, so it should be a lot better than today. We're on the way to lunch. We're gonna go check out matches again. I'm driving the car to see how it feels and um, making sure that the tires are still responsive. And as of right now, the uh, tire light came off. My engine light's still on, so um, at least it's mostly cleared up. So maybe a couple of more miles of driving. All the error messages from earlier clear up. That was about it. So yeah, we're just getting back from lunch. Majors again did the trick. It's really good food. Um, it's still pretty wet. I don't think I'm gonna be able to go out of my trophy or it's just too slippery and not enough grip on these tires at all. But tomorrow is gonna be a big, you know, a big nice day. So we should be able to get some good sessions in tomorrow. All right, so that's the end of uh, day one. <laughs> it was uh, somewhat of a, I guess, adventurous day. Didn't get to do a whole lot of driving. Uh, first couple of sessions, the car was acting up, it was just crazy. The second session, it locked up, and, and that's when we spun. The third session, I took off because it was raining too much, and um, I only have the uh, road tires that don't have a whole lot of grip on them. So, uh, But the fourth session, now I did go out and just took it easy. Uh, it was still sliding quite a bit. It wasn't uh, gripping at all. When I pop it into third gear, even at 3,000 RPM, I could feel the car sliding, so then I would have to like quick shift up. So it was just more practice, getting used to the car sliding and, and kind of really practicing just car control more than speed and, and really worried about the lap time. So uh, hopefully tomorrow if things dry up, we'll, we'll have a dry track and be able to put some good tires on it, some good times. But for now, we're about to uh, go get some dinner and call it a night. The gas was working out earlier when I pumped, uh, it actually overflowed and I, I wasn't even holding it. It was like a little automatic click thing. It was taking forever to pump, so when I pulled it out, like gas was spilling everywhere. And like the car usually shuts it off and it just overflowed. But anyways, this session was actually pretty good in terms of driving conditions um, and just me driving, I felt really good. But just in the wrong run group, uh, stuck behind traffic nonstop. Um, it is actually somewhat dangerous because they pile up and that, you know, may not be as aware of their surroundings as, as an advanced group or somebody else would be. Uh, but then they're also braking like in a carousel where you're supposed to give it gas. You don't you don't lift up in the carousel. Like you push out, you gotta give it gas to stay tight and come around the corner. So uh, conditions are awesome. Temperatures is perfect right now. It's like 55, 58, sunny, track is dry and uh, just wish we had less cars to get around. Cody uh, got to go in the parade lap and get a feel for the car. He uh, was super stoked and I think he's gonna, he's pretty close to getting ready to buy one. Uh, yeah, I can't afford one yet, but it was insane. Put probably like 50% throttle on for the first lap. And then I got faster and faster as we went. Fastest car I've ever driven for sure, or at least on the track, so it was so cool. Sean was flying. He was doing better. Good. He was doing better with me on his ass. So see what we're doing, 230s, 232. I mean, it was so much traffic. It was even more cars than this morning. When we did 231, like earlier, the best lap I did was 229. And right now we did a 231 was the last best lap. And that was with a bunch of cars in the way. Yeah. So Sean, I mean, he's, he's a lot better today. He's definitely getting a few seconds shaped off. Yeah, it's just with me on his ass. <laughs> he was like, man, you're so quick around them corners. That's but like sick. we have slightly different lines and I don't know, I'm guessing it makes a difference but uh, his car takes off on the straights every time. <laughs> So that's a wrap here at Coda for the uh, Porsche Club America event uh, in February. It was an eventful day yesterday. Um, obviously it was bad weather and 
uh, full of events, just issues with the car and the tires, and obviously the big spin that I uh, that I that I did uh, did like five uh, 360s down the back straight. Uh, but today was a perfect day. The slicks were fresh, brand new, and uh, they they gripped well. And I was in an intermediate group, which is a pretty slow group, so I didn't get uh, great lap times, but I got quite a bit of practice. And it was still 225s or something like that going around a bunch of cars. So it was still a great day, perfect weather, still perfect right now. Uh, next event we're going to be at is going to be in uh, Alabama at Barbers. Um, so that will be actually a new track for us to give it a try and uh, looking forward to that. That's going to be pretty cool. Um, I heard it's a pretty fast and, and uh, uh, risky track. So looking forward to the challenge. But uh, again, just subscribe, hit the uh, notifications button and uh, let us know if you have any comments or questions and uh, feel free to keep us in feedback.